to another video. So today it is update morning. Yes, we have gotten the New Year's update and we are going to review it together. So let me just run over to where I've placed everything previously so it goes a little quicker. And I want to start with the New Year's stuff. So over here we have all of the fireworks. It's the same as last year. Nothing is different. We can light one. Let me just figure out how to light it. Yep, there it goes. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, but it's just the same as every other year. And then we also have the option to light all, just like we did last year. Um, so let's just see. Um, that's what that one looks like. Now let's light all. Alrighty. Here we go. Let's see how this looks. Here we go. Wow. Yeah, I like this feature a lot because, like, it's not like anyone's going to be playing Bloxburg at 12 a.m., though, um, on December 31st. But either way, it's still a really cool feature, and it would be very fitting for, like, exactly 12 a.m. 2020. Or at that point, it would be 2021. Yeah. But while we watch these magnificent fireworks, um, I would just like to talk about um, my channel's 2020 and how we did. We have, I think, over 7,000 channel views, and we have um, 174 subscribers as of the time I'm doing this voiceover. Um, I have 114 followers on Instagram, I think, and four followers on Twitter. So yeah, my Twitter's not doing too well, but I don't really care, because my Instagram and YouTube are really doing well. But if you want to go follow my Twitter, the link is in the description. Actually, twice. One, one for communicating and one for social media. So yeah, check that out. It's in the description. And I believe I released something like 25 videos this year, um, which is pretty good for me. Because if you think about it, I started uploading in May, which is about halfway through the year. And halfway through the year would be about 25 weeks. So that's an average of about one upload per week even though my upload schedule was a little inconsistent. But I'm really happy with our channel's pro with my channel's progress so far. Let's check out these sparklers now. So this is a colorful one. Oh my god, that's really cool. I love that. I love that. That's really pretty. Oh wow, it actually really changes color. And then we have these new fog lights. I don't really see the difference from the from other ones. I don't really know. Then we have this string thing. I don't know how people would use it, and I personally don't love it. But now, this is the good stuff. We have all kinds of new beams. We have circular beams in four different sizes. Then we have wooden beams in two different directions. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then we have rod. Is that rod? No, that's chain. Then we have rectangular beams. And then we have wall trim. We have two new wall trims. I love them. They look absolutely amazing. And then we have more chain. That's a thicker or more defined kind of chain, I think. And then we have metal beams. And then um, let's check out Bill Mode because there's a few things I would like to emphasize about um, these new things. So the first one is you can place all of these new structural items um, custom in, cu in a custom form. So instead of just the standard one, there's custom like that. But it's quite expensive for the metal. But either way, it's really sick. And we can also custom place wall trim wherever we so please now. So instead of it just having to be on the floor, it can be anywhere. That's probably for like, I don't even really know. But I, I have a feeling so many great new build hacks are going to come out of this. Um, and yeah, so we can also custom place a chain. Because as I said, we can custom place any kind of structural item. Um... And then there's also a new polka dot texture. And I don't love it. It's more for aesthetic builders, I feel like, or suburban or nursery rooms. Um, but it's nice. And I was trying to figure out if this was a new texture. I don't really know. Also that. I guess it just never used them. Let's just make sure there are no other new textures. I don't believe there are any other leaks for new textures. But on that note, let's try and paint the polka dot texture. Um, mm, oh wait, not gonna lie, that's kind of cool. 
that's not bad. that's not bad that's not bad at all um and yeah then there's uh this idea I have for modern shelving um with these wooden beams I feel like that would be really cool also like a modern media stand like let's try this out let's just go a few up on the wall and then um yeah that would be so cool because then you could have like decoration down there and also remember custom place things like this can go off um can attach to any solid item in the game which is any item in build mode essentially um so that's super cool and then let's try out this other build hack i was um looking at so i was actually wa watching one of lokaios casa's videos yesterday and i realized he did this cool thing with the roof that a lot of suburban homes have and i wanted to try it out with these beams and it's making a little continuation of the roof into the i don't know what you would call that into the face of the roof not the actual roof but the face of it and if we just thicken this up a bit i feel like it could look super super cool and realistic too like yeah look at that that's super sick it doesn't look the best because I'm not really trying because it's an update video. But either way, it does look really cool. Excuse my yawning. I literally just woke up. But either way, yeah, this looks really cool. This one's a little off. I don't exactly know why. But either way, I said either way a lot. I do like this. I think a lot of build hacks regarding suburban the suburban style are going to come out for sure and yeah um and then there's this other build hack i wanted to try okay so it does look like one of those islands on the wooden beam that's not a beam i don't really know what you would call that um uh so this is actually a new category called category called structural so that's like all the structural stuff um and then i want to try this thing with the um hollow mansard roof where we use the wooden beams as the beams um as opposed to the fences on the next floor so yeah let's grab the thick wooden beams i feel like that would look really sick um yeah yeah thick wooden beams switch to that grid let's see let's see let's see ah oh, yeah that's just so perfect like that's so good for like a log cabin or even like um a lofty kind of house even like a lodgy kind of house like if you want to make like a lodge that would be so nice it also just gives off such like a homey vibe i absolutely love that i absolutely love it and it looks like you have to have the roof for these to be placed now let's check out the lighting okay so it looks like since these are on technically not a single floor the lights would go in them so i don't really know how to deal with that i guess you could just do ceiling lights that would go through i don't really know but yeah that seems to be it in build mode so now let's go check out the map um so the only thing I can remember from last year is the fireworks station. So I think that that's the only thing we're going to go check out. But there's one thing that I believe you can't get in build mode that you can get exclusively at the fireworks station, and that's this flare. So if you purchase one, it just goes right into your inventory because obviously you can light a flare in your hands. Like, I bet a firework would go to your, right to your inventory. Um unlike the flare. So now let's head back well, let's head back to the plot and conclude this video. But I would like to point out that there's no longer anything in that plot or space of the map. Um but before there was a Christmas Christmas tree station for Christmas. But yeah, let's head back to the plot. Oh yeah, and I heard that they updated the snow so it no longer falls on the map and it falls on your screen. 
to make it less laggy. So it's just like a snow animation across your screen, which makes everything less laggy. So yeah, on that note, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Um, and on that note, I will go and I hope you enjoy the update.